Okay, how you doing? This is my next video continued on of taking a polar equation and writing it into its rectangular form. And right now what I have here is r is equal to 3 cosine theta plus 2 sine theta. And I want to write this in rectangular form, which means I want to put this so that my equation is made up of x's and y's, not with the r with the theta, because that would make it polar. So how do I do it? Okay, same exact way I did last time. I've got this r equals, and I've had these uh, formulas where... You know, r squared is equivalent to x squared plus y squared. I also have that r squared is equivalent to x minus h, uh, that quantity squared, plus uh, y minus k, that quantity squared. And uh, those are my two main formulas for a circle. Um, you've also got that the, you know, x equals cosine, r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So let's go ahead and go through and do this problem. So the first things first, I want to get some x's and y's into this, and the easiest way to do it is to turn that into r squared. So how do I do it? I multiply it by r. So that becomes throwing an r in here, okay, so multiplying that by an r. Uh, let me write that a little better. So multiplying that by an r, and over here, okay, I'm going to take this entire side and multiply it by r. But now remember that I've got a quantity here. So if I've got a quantity, okay, I'm going to take that entire quantity and multiply it by r. So what I create over here is this is r squared. It's equivalent to 3. So now I'm just going to distribute this through. So 3r cosine theta plus 2r sine theta. And now what I've got there is the start of it. So now what I can begin to do is I can begin to use my equations over here, okay, that I'm just erasing right now. Um, but we know that r squared is equivalent to x squared plus y squared, so I've got this x squared plus y squared over here. And that's equivalent to, so the 3 is going to stay, so that's just a coefficient, that's just going to remain there. But now this r cosine theta is nice because that becomes x. And then I've also got this plus 2r sine theta, which means that r sine theta, this part right here, okay, this part right here is really just x, and this r sine theta is really just y. So there we go. I've got this now out of x's and y's. This is an equation. Um, some people would just be like, you know, hey, there's an equation. Um, I want to put it, it'll take it a little bit farther. Uh, I know it's going to be a circle because I have an x squared and a y squared. So I'm just going to take it a little bit farther. <clears throat> Which means I need to put x's together and I need to put my y's together. <clears throat> so here we go. I get x squared. So I'm going to move the x's over and the y's over. So now what I get here is x squared minus 3x plus y squared minus 2y. And I'm saying that's all the equivalent to 0. So the only thing I've done here is I've taken my x's and my y's and moved them over. So now the same idea. I've got that formula. What I know for a circle is that r squared is equivalent to this uh, x minus uh, h, the quantity squared, plus this y minus k, the quantity squared. So I now have got part components of the square, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square, so I'm going to take a look at this uh, x squared minus 3x, and I'm going to take a look at this y squared minus 2y, and what I'm going to do is individually I'm going to complete the square for both of those. Uh, on the last video you saw that I did x, uh, y squared minus 3x, and it came out to be that uh, it was just the 9 fourths, okay, remember I added the 9 fourths in, so I'm going to head, pretty much jump ahead on this one because it's the same as my last video. But it's the same thing, divide this by 2, then square it. So this becomes x squared, okay, minus 3x, so plus 9 over 4. And when I add 9 over 4, okay, I have to add 9 over 4 over here. So 0 plus 9 over 4 is 9 over 4, all right? Um, and then I'm going to look at this one, same type of deal. Divide the, mid the middle term by 2, so the linear term gets divided by 2, the coefficient does. So negative 2 divided by 2 is one, negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So I'm really putting a plus y squared minus 2y and adding 1. And remember, if I add something in the left side, I have to add it in the right side. So plus 1 over here. And then I go ahead and I'm just going to take this part here that I've created and this part here that I've created and factor them. So when I factor them, I get that this is going to be x minus 3 halves, that quantity squared, plus y so this is a negative 2, so y minus 1, the quantity squared, is equivalent to, well, 9 fourths plus 1 
is just going to give me now my, my uh, 13 over 4. So I take this, so 9 fourths plus 1 gives me 13 over 4. And there you have it. I've now got the basic equation for a circle that has a center not at 0, 0 because of this minus this 3 halves, which means the center of the circle is really at 3 halves because you take the opposite of this. At 3 halves, positive 1. So at 3 halves, positive 1 is the center of the circle. And if I take plus or minus the square root of this, which is uh, root 13 over 2, you can do that and that will give you approximately the uh, radius of the circle. So there it is. There's my equation in simplest into rectangular form into standard uh, circle equation. So I hope that helps with uh, whatever you're working on. But notice that all I'm doing is this thing called completing the square.